gets the entertainment bullseye every week with her hard riding. your bracelets. Well, you didn't have to kill a man. What's all this about? I don't get it. Uh, you will. You used to be Joe Carter's partner, didn't you? Your name's Ed Lawson. You seem to know all the answers. Well, I know a few of them. You see, I'm Joe's brother. Sam? That's right. And Joe and me got split up after that Diablo job. I made it to Red Rock and that hombre picked me up. Yeah. Joe's in Diablo right now, in jail. Where's your uncle? He took a posse out to look for the guy that helped you rob the express office. Nah, don't tell me he left you in charge here. Me, Annie, and Uncle Luke's deputy. We'll make out. What you got here? Chicken and dumpling and blueberry pie. Homemade. That sister of yours make it? She sure did, boy. Annie's the best cook in the whole world. Hmm. I hear she's pretty good with a six gun, too. Nobody's ever outshot her yet. And a lot of fellas have tried. Good shot. <laughs> Good cook. <laughs> you know, some kid, when I get out of here, I think I'll marry her. A lot of fellas have tried that, too. Care for another piece of pie, Lofty? Well, I... Ah, uh, no, I guess not, thanks, honey. What's the matter? Don't you like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very nice. Very nice? It's delicious. I went out and picked those blueberries myself and then spent the whole morning baking that pie, and you say it's very nice. Well, that's what I mean, Annie. It's very good. Oh, the trouble with you, Lofty Craig, is that you don't show any enthusiasm about anything. Oh, yes, I do. It's well, just that sometimes I can't say the things the way I want to. I mean... You all right, Charlie? Sure, Annie. I think so. I just got a little confused. What happened? Oh, it was that crazy Pete. Every time he comes to town, he gets roaring down drunk and thinks he's a bad man. Yeah, I know. And I guess he wouldn't really harm anybody. Oh, no, Charlie. Pete's all right when he's sober. I guess he gets kind of lonesome living up in that old shack all by himself. This is just his way of blowing off steam. Now, get on home and stay out of trouble. You ought to be ashamed of yourself shooting at a blind man. I was only having a little fun. I didn't know it was Charlie. I love Charlie. I couldn't see him so good. Yeah, I know. Most people can't when they drink as much as you do. Now, come on. Get going. Here. Is there anything you want? Oh, yes, there is something I want, Annie. Something I've wanted to give you for a long time. I want you to have this. Oh, Charlie, no. I made this with my own hands, lock, stock, and barrel. But it's your favorite rifle. Well, you're my favorite girl. Besides, I have no more use for it. I haven't fired a gun since, well, since my accident five years ago. A gun isn't much good to a blind man. Of course, I can still repair them. There isn't a spring or a screw I can't put where it belongs. 
I know that. Thanks, Charlie. I'll always keep this. Hello, Lofty. The telegram just came, Annie. They caught that other express office robber. They did it? Where? Yeah, way over in Red Rock. <laughs> Deputy Marshall's on his way here with him. A couple men just rode up. One of them is handcuffed. Sheriff McTavish? No, I'm his deputy, Lofty Craig. He's out with a posse. Oh, this is Annie Yoki, the sheriff's niece. Well, uh, pleased to meet you, man. I'm Deputy Marshal Rod Williams. This is the man we've been looking for. I'll take him off your hands. Yeah. My name's Tag. Glad to meet you. Well, howdy, Tag. Prisoner giving you any trouble, Marshal? Nobody gives me too much trouble, man. Unless it happens to be a real pretty young lady. You probably haven't had anything to eat. I'll fix you something. Oh, no, no. I uh, wouldn't want to put you in all that bother, Miss... Annie. It's no bother at all. Oh, of course not. No bother at all. Well, if you insist, Miss Annie, thanks. <laughs> thanks a lot. He's quite a guy, Annie Lofty. I think Annie kind of likes him. Don't you have somewhere to go? Nope. You don't mind my saying so, Miss Annie. This is the tastiest meal I've had in a long time. I think you're full of blarney, Marshal. Oh, well, I mean it. Beats me how a young lady with so much charm and beauty can be such a good cook. I think I'll go down to the barber shop. I'll be back in an hour or two. I'll take the new prisoner's lunch. Oh, no. You've done enough already. You let me take that, huh? Here's your chow, Ed. Looks mighty good. What's the plan, Sam? You just sit tight. I'll help you out by morning. Have you got any money? Well, no, haven't you? What about that express company job? We didn't get nothing. We blew the safe, but they got me before we get the dough out. Oh, that's fine. Won't get far without money. Listen, Sam. That express company safe is still busted, so they have to put their money in the one here in the sheriff's office. Now, on Saturday night, there'll be over $10,000 in it. I can open it with a screwdriver. Well, that settles it, then. We stay right here till Saturday night. And be careful of that girl. She's plenty smart. And she can make a six-gun talk in ten languages. Don't you worry about Annie. I already got her eaten right out of my head. Hi, Tag. Where's Annie? She went riding with the marshal. Oh, she did. You know something, Lofty? He's a funny guy. Huh? Oh, what do you mean, funny? I don't know. There's something about him. I don't know if I like him or if I don't. Well, Annie seems to like him pretty well. Yeah, but a girl don't always see a guy like he really is. Especially if she's stuck on him. Oh, that's crazy. Annie isn't stuck on Williams. I wouldn't say that. It was her idea going for the ride. That's Antelope Valley down there. And in the springtime, it has a beautiful green velvet carpet with wildflowers by the million. <laughs> Oh, see that stream over there? Mm-hmm. Gee, I remember when I used to love to ride over there early in the morning and watch the deer come to drink. Deer? Mm-hmm. That sounds like good shooting. Speaking of shooting, that's my favorite sport. You see that metal lark? Don't. It's only a bird. Well, it's still alive, and it hasn't done anybody any harm. <laughs> You're a strange little girl, Miss Annie. I thought you liked to shoot. Well, there's a difference between liking to shoot and liking to kill. Killing's just part of the pattern in life. It's a natural law. The strong kill off the weak. I don't think I like that, Mr. Williams. Been going on a long time. Big animals kill little animals. If the little animals get in the way. I think we'd better start for home. All right. I'll tie him off, Miss Annie. I'm going to stop in at the store. I brought some stuff for you. Oh, oh, thanks. Thanks very much. You're welcome, Charlie. Well, we're in trouble. I've been recognized. 
Who saw you? A fellow I knew a long time ago. He's running a gun shop down the street. You sure he knew you? Of course I'm sure. He stared right at me. We better get going before he starts talking. No. Now we're gonna stay right here. You won't get a chance to talk. Hello, Charlie. Remember me? Why, the voice is familiar. Is it? That's right, Sam Carter. Sam Carter. It's been a long time, Sam. I wouldn't have known you. You knew me. You were staring right at me a little while ago. I didn't see you. You saw me all right. I'm blind, Sam. I've been blind for five years. Blind? <laughs> then you wouldn't have known. What do you mean? No matter, Charlie. But it's too bad. It's too bad you know now. I tell you, he shot Charlie in cold blood. All right, Lofty, what are you gonna do about it? No one but a skunk could shoot a blind man, and we don't like skunks. You know how we all felt about Charlie. Now, wait a minute, men. No one thought more of Charlie than I did. He was almost like a father to me. But two wrongs don't make a right, and we don't even know for sure who did it. We all know who did it. No one but Pete had reason to harm him. You saw yourself what Pete did out there in the street? Pete was drunk. He didn't realize what he was doing. You know, he always likes to raise Cain when he's had a few, but that doesn't mean that he's going to... What go are we standing here talking for? You know Pete did it. We all know Pete did it. But you're all wrong, because I don't think Pete's guilty. We think he is. All right. But he's going to get a fair trial. I'll ride out and get Pete and bring him back here. We'll go along with you. Right, fellas? Right. Yeah. Only we won't bring him back here. Leastwise, not till we're through with him. Hey, Annie! A lot more men are coming up the street, and they've got a rope. Stall him off as long as you can, Lofty. I'll ride out and try and get Pete out of the way. All right, Annie. Look after things here, will you, Marshal? Sure. Sam, I don't like the looks of this whole thing. Me neither. I think it's a good time to get out of here. We're gonna stay until Saturday night. We'll take these, just in case. Where do you think you're going? With you! See anything? I see a cloud of dust in the distance. It could be them. Hello, Annie. Howdy, Tag. Hi. What are you folks doing way up here? Charlie Wright's been shot. Charlie? You mean shot her purpose? Who did it? They think you did, Pete. Me? And they're coming up here after you, with a rope. Now, wait a minute. There's no time to wait for anything, Pete. You've got to get out of here and fast. Well, I don't know why I should get out of here. I never run away from nothing in my life. Especially something I didn't do. Well, you can't tell that mob that. They mean business. You've got to hide out until we can prove who did it. Well, I don't like it. It ain't right. Oh, please hurry, Pete. We haven't got time to argue. You've just got to find a place to hide. Well, there's an old mine shaft over on top yonder mountain. I don't expect nobody knows it's there. Well, come on, let's go. Wait a while. Here we are. The old mine shaft is over the hill in the rocks. Gosh, no one would ever find that. Now, you just stay put, you hear me? And then when things settle down and everybody's cooled off, we'll let you know. Well, I don't mind telling you, I don't like it a bit. Why, I ought to be down talking to them men that's accusing me of doing the murder. Why, for two cents, I... You I'd... just stay right... I ain't gonna do it. I ain't no coward. What happened? He's lit out. I reckon that proves he's guilty. Well, we better take the other tray and double back. Yes, Tag, he's dead. Who is he? I don't know. He's been shot. Listen, Tag, 
And listen carefully. The Morgan place is only about a mile from here. I want you to ride over there and send a telegram with their phone. Sure, Annie. Who's the telegram to? I'll send it to the United States Marshal at Red Rock. Say, uh, wire physical description of Marshal Williams. Signed, Sheriff Diablo. Sure, Annie, but the man that's staying with us is Deputy Marshal Williams. He said he was. I don't think so, Tag. I think this man is Williams. According to the label in this coat, it was bought in Red Rock. And look at this, Tag. You can see he's worn a badge, and you can see where the sun has faded the material all around it. I bet that guy killed him and took his badge. Yeah. Hurry, Tag. I'll wait here. Oh, Tag, uh, pick up Mr. Morgan's buckboard, will you, and bring it back? We'll, have, we'll need it to take the body into town. Sure, Annie. Well, no use going any further. Looks like he got clean away. All right, fellas. Let's head back to town. Tag, I'm going back to the office. You run on over to the telegraph office and wait for an answer to my wire. Okay. I see you brought in a body. You found Pete, huh? It wasn't Pete's body. Well, who is it? I don't know. It was some stranger. He'd been shot. You have any idea who it is or who did it? No. I better take a look. Here's the answer to the tell. Men, I'm warning you, every one of you will answer to the charge of murder. You keep out of this lofty, we'll take that chance. Come on, let's get him down to the tree. Let's go. Just a minute, fellas. Now you'll have to see my attorney, Alex. Larry, the keys are over there on the floor. Hurry up and let me out of here. Come on, Larry, hurry. Come on. Both of you are locking you up for your own good. Tag, you stay here. the wrong man. The one who's supposed to be the marshal is Joe Carter's brother, and they got away. Here, Lofty, I'm sorry. I think they're headed for Ludlow Pass. If you hurry, you can catch them. Yeah, you go take a look at it. Okay. But there's not much chance anybody coming up here. Smoke over there? The other side of the hill? Uh, sure, it looks like it. Yeah, that smoke, all right. Uh, smoke. Ha! Sam, here comes a mob of them. They spotted our fire.
up. Sure, Miss Annie. Sure. Well, I guess you win, Miss Annie. Terrific, Annie. Terrific and delicious. You know something? I don't see how a girl as pretty as you are can be such a wonderful cook. <laughs> Careful, son. The last man who made that remark got nowhere. <laughs> <laughs>